Okay, so chat, let's build a Rakdos deck. <clears throat> deep. Deep, 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 deep. It's the same deck, but just with Bloodside and Inti, right? Do we want to play four Inti? Also, is there any other good red cards worth playing? I like the split of... What did we do last time? Three Preacher, three Gix, two, two Trespasser. I like that split. I do like Trespasser. Then we did three Shieldred, two Archfiend. Molten Collapse. Mm, I don't know if I like Molten Collapse. Yeah, you see, guys, this... Man, this card is... I've, I've read this card a couple of times, and I really don't understand why people are not playing this card in Standard. It's It seems really powerful, you know? It's it's only it's it's only highlighted in red because it's a red card, right? That's how that works. I think that's how that works. All right, three cut down. Do you think if I showed up to the seventy five k with that card in my deck that I would uh, be allowed to play? I feel like it'd be fine. Would be three go for the throat, two bitter. I think is what it was. No duress. This is thirty three. I need two more cards. What am I missing? I feel like I'm missing something very obvious. Chat, what am I missing? <clears throat> with red, black, how do you beat control and ramp decks? I mean, you just try to go under them with Inti Harvester. You just go 2-3 and hope that's good enough. You could main deck a couple of duresses. I don't hate that. We could try main deck duress. And main deck duress would definitely help blue, white, and domain. It's just like, it's so bad against Convoke. I mean, no matter what card this is going to be, like, if I want to play Liliana, that's also horrendous against Convoke. No matter what this slot's going to be, it's going to be bad against Convoke, right? Mm -hmm. Any Planeswalkers that are good? Ob is good, but I don't think Ob is a main deck card. Fourth Breacher. I think I like eight threes. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, you have four Inti and four Blood Tithe. The Duresses are probably just free rolls, because if they're bad, you just discard them. It's probably okay, right? We could try the duresses. It's just like, I really want to play more one mana cards so you can double spell more frequently. Because the biggest issue with this deck against Convoke is you just can't double spell on turn three, you know? And having just literally anything that lets you double spell, anything that does anything is good enough. One end the festivities, man. <laughs> nah, I don't know about that. Okay, so four ridge... Four springs. Four cliffs. How many uh, vents? Two? Two is good, right? I had two caverns when I was playing Rakdos before. I think I like the caverns. Uh, Takanuma Sokin's on. If I can actually spell. Takanuma Sokin's on. And then basics? I feel like I'm missing one other utility land. Or dual land for that better. No matter what they say. I could play one Murex, maybe. Oh, do we oh wait, 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 wait. How about Would you ever want to play Surveil Lands over Vents? Or no? Like one and one, maybe? Probably not. No, I don't think so. Yeah. Probably way too bad against blue white. Can we do two vents, one surveil land, or is that three? Is three tap lands too many? No synergy. Yeah, it's just like it's for it's for fixing your draw step later on in the game, or like fixing your draw early, right? But it might not be worth it. Yeah, it's probably not worth it. It's probably not worth it. So what? Five swamp, two mountain. Maybe 6-1. Nah, 5-2 is okay, because I want to play Brotherhood's End in the sideboard, I think. What if we did... Mm, what, if we, what if we did one Mountain, third Vents? One Murex is good. I guess the Murex is probably a little bit better than the third Vents, because it's like a creature land that also is an untap land. Why are we playing black? True. Good question. I don't like Carnosaur. Like, I think that whole package is bad. 
you're just making your deck so much worse against blue white. If if people oh, see, here's the thing, right? If the metagame is shifting more towards blue white and convoke, and less towards domain and mid range mirrors, you by adding Carnosaur and cruelty, you're making your deck slightly better in the mid range mirrors, but you're giving up so many percentage points against against convoke and blue white. And I think there's going to be a lot more Convoke in blue-white than there is mid-range decks. That looks good. How about the sideboard? Uh, sideboard, we want, what, three Duress? Or no, two. Yeah, we want to play the other two in the sideboard. Three Obnix. Is Obnix even better than Liliana against them? Playing red, Playing red instead of blue and white, though. Yeah, but, like, I also think this deck has a much better mana base than Esper. That's kind of why you would play this. Your mana is so much smoother, right? I think, like, one command... Power level is lower. Sure. I don't disagree with that. That's th There's going to be trade-offs no matter what. Whenever you do something like this, there's always trade-offs. Uh, what, do, what do we want our three mana sweepers to be against Boros? Like, two Path Apparel, two Brotherhood's End? Is there any reason to split? I guess Brotherhood's End is better against Toxic because it kills Annex Sentry. Two Ob, two Lily. Okay. And just three Path. Oh, what about Hidetsugu? Do we want to play Hidetsugu as like our fourth Path? What if we did three Path, one Hidetsugu? I like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. We could even do two Path, two Hidetsugu. Right? Because the nice thing about Hidetsugu versus Path is this also gets the, the tokens. Yeah, let's do two Hidetsugu, two Path. I think I like that. Yeah, 2-2 two, two is good. This card is cracked against Convoke. Uh, we have four... We have four... Room for four cards. What's our, like, sideboard? What's our, like, big thing against the mid-range mirrors? Bat God, maybe? Like, one Bat God... Is there a red card that's good against the mid-range decks? I mean, I guess we could just play uh, Barrage. Like, two Barrage, maybe. Cruelty of Gix. Yeah, I think I like Command more than the second... I think I like the second Command more than the first Cruelty. I do like that. I, I, I'm a huge fan of Command. And then two Barrage, maybe. Something like this. This looks decent. I like this. Run it. Virtue. Virtue's not really a sideboard card, though, right? Let's run this. It is nearly impossible for Blue White to beat the ultimate. So that's kind of why you want it. The sand's nice. The same against Domain, right? It's just like, they're the, the way, <clears throat> the best way to explain this. The reason the control and domain decks are so good is they get to develop their mana while also holding up interaction and stuff. And like if you just play this, like play this Liliana, it resolves and you just get it to get it to ultimate as fast as possible. Uh, it, it just like basically undoes all of the work that they've done making land drops the previous, you know, six turns or whatever. All right. Show me your counter spell. Of course they did. <laughs> of course they did. It's okay. I got another Gix. Surely you didn't draw two counter spells, right? Surely you didn't draw two counter spells. All right, cool. Thanks. That's a good draw. Cut down, successfully discarding. Yeah, that's fine. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Down, get out of here. Hmm. Kind of don't want to play Shieldred first. If they take the damage, I think I'm not going to play the Shieldred. If they Emperor, then I'll play Shield Red. That's why I didn't want to play Shield Red pre-combat. 
Yeah, it's just like so obvious they have Emperor here that I don't want to go for the Soaking Sun play. Oh, you wanted to do that. Just Soaking Sun, no attack with Gix. Yeah, that's pretty reasonable too. That like I don't hate that line. That could have been an okay line. Do I play around second Emperor here? Just not attack with Shieldred. I could go fire up events, attack with Harvester Vents, leave back Shelly, play second Harvester. And then they go, what? Emperor, counter on 2 2, eat the Harvester. But then I still fall up with second Harvester, and it's not that bad for me. Yeah, that sounds fine. Sounds fine to me. Discard the mountain. I kind of wish I had attack with the Shelly now. Fuck. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Getting, now I have to play the Sokens on. Yeah, I kind of wish I had taken that other line last turn. I have get lost too. Oh, Odawara, sure. Right, just like Sokens on and didn't attack with the Gix. I think that line would have been a little bit better. Did they not activate Emperor this turn? They're just letting me trade? I mean, I should trade, right? Because if I don't trade, they just make a 4 4. I think I'm trading. Why didn't they activate Emperor first? I guess they just wanted to make a 2 2. There you go. Okay, uh, it's seven. I'm just never going to attack with Shelly. Yeah, maybe I should attack with Shelly, actually. They can't really double block it, right? Hmm. Do I send Vince at Emperor, Shelly at them? No, because then they just double block vents, trade for 2-2, two, two, go to 3, draw, go to 1, kill Shelly, go to 3. Then I play other Shelly. That's actually not bad, though, right? Because I just have the backup Shelly. It's rough if they have a counter spell for the backup Shelly. Yeah, they could have a second Wanderer, too. If I send both at Emperor, they just don't block. Well, I mean, sending both at Emperor is almost worse if they have second Emperor, right? Send everything at Opponent. I mean, it's the same thing as sending this at Emperor and this at them. They, they do the same thing. They double block vents, go to three. It's the same thing, right? This is the exact same thing as, as sending the vents at Emperor. It's not a bad draw. Oh, do they have a Ganjo? I definitely punted. They should go to damage first, but... Okay. It's a little unfortunate. Alright. Go. It's really not that bad. It's, like, kind of fine. Okay. Interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... So I don't have enough to play both. I think we just go Shelly pass. Yeah, just cast Shelly. See what happens. I almost don't want to attack with Bat. Is that weird? That is kind of weird, actually. I should have attacked first. Why did I play Shelly first? Because I'm going to attack the Emperor anyways. No, am I? What if I just attack them? Because it gets them to four, which puts the which makes the shielder to two turn clock. I think I'm gonna attack them. Because the Emperor's only on one anyways. I should have attacked first. This was stupid. It's good. They didn't find get lost. Fuck! God, I hate blue white. It's so cringe. Diamond 2. Nice. This deck is sick.
I am not looking forward to playing against Blue White. I'll tell you that much. So, map here. <clears throat> Bolt, shut up. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Kind of getting punished for not killing the Emperor last turn. Well, not really, because their sweepers uh their sweepers exile. So it does not shut off Sunfall or Sunfall or what you call it. Farewell, any of that stuff. Yeah, they, they can still Sunfall through the Archfiend. They also might just find a removal spell. And we can flashback Deluge. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can't Takanuma and Shieldred next turn, which is good. Confused why we map first. So if I mapped into a spell Skittles, um, I could have made the bat a 3 3, put them to 1, and played Trespasser. That's why I map first. Because I had exactly four damage if they didn't have a counter spell. All right, I think we have to go for the Shelly line. So I'm going to do this. Put Emperor to one. It's channel Takanuma. Just play Shelly. Hope that's good enough. Good thing we get this far. Of course. Oh. Need a spell here. Please give me a spell. Just need a spell off this map. Please give me a spell. Thank you. Deck. Okay. If they don't find a counter spell, they're dead. Or get lost, I guess. Ah, they found a counter spell. Of course. So. Do I just not play the second Trespasser? Because they obviously have a counterspell, right? I think I just don't play it. I'm going to play the land. I think I'm going to play the land, right? Yeah, they could have removal too. No, there's no reason to play Preacher this turn, because I can just pay for mate for No More Lies next turn. They can imp minus two bat. Yeah, but then... They would have to play a spell main phase, or they go to three, attack, they go to one, trigger, they go to zero. I'm just going to pass. I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass. Did he counter plus removal? It's very obvious they have the counter spell, and they have the removal spell here. Right? We know they have the removal spell. They can just, they can, they can down tick on the bat and gain two life. Which they're going to do, right? But th this also forces them to kind of play a spell main phase, which they don't necessarily want to do, right? I guess they can go down, tick, bat, play the lockdown, but that would also kill these two, which is fine for me. <clears throat> yep. Blooded away. Yeah, I guess I could have done that. Oh, they're not playing a spell? I'm just going to go to combat. Uh, all right, eat this, eat this. Really? This is surprising. Yeah, Shelly gives me two lethal cards. Okay. 
probably should have main phased that quick study. Why did they not main phase the quick study? I don't get it. Right? Did they, like, forget that that was going to flip? They must have, right? Anyways. <laughs> they must have forgot it was going to flip. Because if they played the quick study main phase, the trespasser attack plus ATB is only two damage, and they, gave, they went to three off of the Emperor. So they could have actually survived if they main phased that, but they didn't. Let's go. Two, three, four, five, six... Uh, cut down, out, throat out. This is a pretty clean swap, right? Keep the triumphs for emperors. What do you think, chat? Looks pretty good. Maybe you could sell me... Like, the reason I don't love Aquazot... So there's a couple of... Like, you might question why I'm not bringing in Aquazots or Gix's command. And the main reason is that all of their sweepers exile, right? So against, like, a normal, traditional blue-white control deck that has Wrath of God and things like that, Gix's command pretty good because it rebuys two things. But against Farewell and Sunfall, you can't get your stuff back with Gix's command. Yeah. And same thing with Aquazots. Like, it's so trivial for them to kill it. They have March, they have Emperor, they have yeah, I mean, Sunfall, all that stuff. So those cards are not very good against blue-white. Well, it's an anti-aggro card, but also good against the other mid-range decks. I want to keep this hand so bad. <laughs> I'm not going to, but I want to. All right, this hand's better. Much, much better. Do do any sages? Sage business. Eternal wanderer. I almost want to take quick study. Although, it's going to be hard to beat this coat. What do you think, chat? Coat or study? You're only on a two-lander, though. Fucking Boombringer Valkyrie. I'm going to take coat. Hope that we can just draw some... Draw some action. It's kind of action. It's got to be coat, yeah. Dilt. That's a good fucking draw. Holy shit. That is a phenomenal draw step. Uptick. Can we discard Harvester? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I want to keep land four in case I draw Shelly. Sure deal deal space I mean they just didn't have a counter spell yeah we knew they didn't have a counter spell Walk along. So they probably have to discard Eternal Wanderer here, I would assume. They're in a rough spot, though. Yeah, discarding Valk makes sense, too. Nothing? Nothing, huh? So their plan is March Bat, Untap, Sunfall. It is a bit awkward with these Bloods. Where I want to, like, loot away the land, find a good card to cast. But if I find a 4-drop, I have to discard it to Liliana. I think I'm going to do this. I might go to combat first. I can't attack with bad because they have the anchorage. I'm just going to do this. They have. They still have to go March, Bat, Untap, Sunfall, so... I guess they're trying to get to Emperor, maybe? Or the Eternal Wanderer? Yeah, they had one unknown. They could have had a counter spell. Okay, that's fine. Fine ish. Uh, it's not a bad one. Yep, do this. It's actually quite good. Because it also checks the anchorage. Yeah, shut up. Yeah, I guess that's a good point. The bad attack was probably fine, because if they animate the anchorage, I mean, I guess they would be up. They would be up a march, because they wouldn't have had to use the march on it. 
but maybe it was worth it. Okay, so Archfiend's coming back on my end step. Do I want the Vents in play, or do I want to loot and try to find a Shield Red? It's probably in my best interest to try and find a Shield Red, right? Like, this Vents is probably not good enough. It's so good if I find Shelly. Eh, that's fine, too. I mean, it's not great, but... Now they go want they kind of have to go wander exile archfiend send the anchorage at Lindley. They can't let me ultimate. Yeah, triumph would have been insane there too. I th I think looting is good. They can't let me ult right. Yeah, there's no way. <coughs> yep. Oh, they're gonna are they gonna go in with the token too? Really? Okay. So I guess that means they bricked. They could ult wanderer. Ult wanderer. Doesn't this like wrath or something? What would the ult do? The ult wouldn't do anything, right? The minus four. Oh, kill the archfiend. Sure, 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 sure. I mean, I'm not trading. Okay, so let's loot first. Trigger Inti. Wow, those are not bad. They have a card in hand that they chose not to play. What if we channeled Sokinson to try to hit a land to cast the bat? Because Sokinson's only three mana. Kind of into it. Oh, right, we hit it off the Inti. We can't channel that, never mind. I thought it was in the other order, my bad. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Well, I guess in that case... There's no reason to bat them, because we're going to get their card from Liliana anyways. I am not attacking... Oh, wait. Yeah. I'm going to say, I'm not attacking the Wanderer. Lily plus. Well, I can do it this way too, right? Oh my god, that's perfect. Well, I mean, it's like the same thing, but I guess I get I guess I get a Lily on a higher, higher ult, higher loyalty. All right, that worked out. Get Archfiend back, and they probably still have to go wander. I don't even know <coughs> wander uptick on Archfiend. I guess they could. Minus four to kill the Archfiend? They could do that. Which, maybe they should have done that last turn. But then I guess the Wanderer goes to f to three and then I can kill it with Inti. It's a weird game. I would love to draw Obnix. Obnix sec Archfiend. Let's go. Folks, do we got any late night primers? Anybody, any, uh, any late night folks that has an Amazon Prime subscription available? Any, uh, any late night primers? Why the fuck are they doing this? What? Brother. <laughs> My brother in Christ. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? No, I don't want to draw. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Plots. Oh god. <clears throat> yeah, nobody tell him. That was an interesting game. That was an interesting game. Dude, Lily is absurd against control. This hand's good. I keep. Big fan of these duresses so far. Until till, until they whiff. Then I will no longer be a big fan of them. But they just won't whiff. Yeah, one target. So many mono black decks, dog. Oh, no, it's green black. I didn't see the glade. Uh, what's their hand again? Trespass or Shieldred? Uh, I don't even know what I want to bat here. So bad that. Yeah, the MTG bot or the <coughs> the Moxfield link is not updated. 
I didn't get that updated yet, but it should be on the uh, untapped overlay. It's a pretty good draw too. Yeah, the decklist should be available on untapped. I would love to draw Gix here. Gix would be insane. Okay, that's fine. Am I discarding Cavern? Yeah, I think I am. I think that's fine. Yeah, I know. I know. I didn't get a chance to update the uh, the Mox Field yet. But the deck list should be available on Untapped. The Untapped Overlay. Like, the overlay that's on your screen. I think it's either on the left-hand side or the right-hand side. There should be, like, a little deck drop-down. I just didn't update the Mox Field. Discard Cavern. Yeah, I just, like, I wanted the extra damage. Maybe I'm just supposed to discard nothing there. I don't know. It's kind of close. I mean, did I need the cavern? I My, my last card in hand was a two-mana card, and I had three lands, you know? All right, so mid-range mirror, Golgari. Command good, bat good. Not this. Uh, I don't think Duress is good. I don't like Liliana. Is Ob good against Golgari? I don't think so. Right? What is bad against Golgari? I have no idea. Some number of cutdown, maybe? Maybe the third cutdown? The only good target out of Golgari for cutdown is bad. Everything else, it just doesn't, like, kill a Mosswood with it. Who cares? Who cares? Yeah, the, the Fallout set, I believe, is commander only. Except for the lands. The basic lands, obviously, you can play whatever. I'll get it updated after this game. The Moxfield link. Keep this. It's more important to hold up cut down here in case they have BAP. Now I'm kind of time walking myself, but. <clears throat> oh, it's like that. Okay. I see. <laughs> I see what's going on here. Okay. Just don't play Trespasser. God damn it. God damn it. I'd prefer to not have to discard a card to kill that. Looks like I have to. Let's start to cut down. That's why Tres oh, Trespasser is so good. God damn it. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, fine. <laughs> Just minus two cards. Could have maybe waited to see if I found an Inti. Sucks. That's not bad. Go. That one's not bad. Bring Lily on the next game. <laughs> now they now they draw bat after I discarded two cut downs. Classic. Yeah, Liliana's pretty good if they have Trespasser. Coralina, thank you for the 18 month resub. Welcome back, Coralina. It took Yep Command. Odds they have a removal spell in hand. Pretty fucking high. Oh, they definitely have cut down. That pause they got. Just don't Liliana me, please. Maybe it's one of those things where Liliana's good on the play, bad on the draw. Although, even against Trespasser, it's still fine on the draw. <clears throat> kill it. I'm gonna kill it. Okay, so don't animate events, because they definitely have cut down. That's good. 
Your turn. Off it. Off it. No. Uh, yes, I guess. Hope they're not playing blue-white. Please no blue-white. Please no blue-white. My hand's a little awkward. Because I think I have to cut down on one. No, I, di I didn't play Boros today. Maybe I'll play some Boros tomorrow. Just to get a feel for it. I'm kind of just trying some different stuff and see what seeing what sticks. Alright, chat. This is going to look kind of weird. But I really do think I'm supposed to play Springs on one here. Because if I don't kill the Inspector, they can go Gleeful Land. <sighs> Gleeful Land. Night Errant. Yeah, I'm going to play Springs Pass. It kind of, it fucks, it fucks with my curve a lot, but I think it's worth it. Fuck me. <laughs> I guess I got punished. Maybe they'll play Bunnicorn. Bunnicorn makes it okay, because I can kill this end step. Oh, so they had Gleeful, but no Nate Errant? Sure. Damn it. Yeah. Maybe I should just kill this in combat, too. Oh, that sucks. <clears throat> so they're playing Sanguine this turn. I guess I can cut down the Sanguine. Okay. Yeah. Why aren't you giving consideration to Blue Black as an archetype? I think it's like far and away the worst mid-range deck between Golgari, Rakdos, Esper, all that kind of stuff. I just think it's, I don't know. <clears throat> You're sacrificing a lot of power for somewhat good mana, but I think you can also just make the mana base better as the um, as the Esper deck. What could their hand be? If they had Evangelist, they would have played it. They probably have Reinforcements. I'm still going to bet here. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, surely they have a payoff in hand, right? It's payoff. Okay, go. Kill this, take 5, go to 10, untap, attack, go to 11, 12. Yeah, kill this. This matchup does seem a little tough. Game 1 without the sweepers. Cool looking blue black deck with Cryptic Coat. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to play blue black mid range, it does make sense. But even then, it's like you still have a, a variety of good three drops to play. So the thing about blue black is because you're playing Spyglass Siren, it makes a lot more sense to play more Gixes in blue black because you have Sirens, Bats, more two drops, that kind of thing. So you just end up clogged at three, which is kind of the same problem that Golkari has, right? And it's hard to fit all these threes in there. Play Gix, stay at 9, block here, take 5. Yeah, I gotta play Gix here. I just hope they brick. Please brick, please brick, please brick, please brick. Please brick! Well, that's a start. Mm. Dangerous. Okay, so play Shelly, attack, go to four, go to three, go to five, block, block, take four, go to one, dead to literally anything. Shelly, four, three, five, two blockers, block, block, take four, go to one. All right. Math checks out. Math checks out. All right, I'm at five. That is, in fact, anything. 
All right, Boros Convoke, Path of Peril, Hidetsugu, Duress Bad, Bitter Triumph Bad. Maybe I keep the Bitter Triumphs, actually. Cut two Gixes. Gix is really bad against them. What if I cut the third Gix and one Triumph and play two Barrage? I guess I want the commands too. Maybe Trespasser for command. Perhaps Archfiend. Like one Archfiend, one Trespasser. I like that. What's up, Captain? Captain Cake. I think I have to keep this. Archfiend Peril is game. Yeah, but the thing is, Peril by itself is game. You don't really need to... You don't really need to have the Archfiend with that. If you just draw Path of Peril at any reasonable spot, then you're going to be Boros. How did Demir go? Uh, you don't want to know. If you're a Demir fan, you don't want to know. Did not go very well. Like, I think that deck... The ceiling on that deck is incredibly high... But the floor is just unbearably low, and it's extremely inconsistent. That's the issue. <laughs> the part of Demir was the rampart. Look, it was a, it was an inside joke. All right, it's an inside joke. Yeah, it's one of those things where you had to have been there. <laughs> it's a sweet deck for sure. It's doing a lot of cool stuff. But it feels like it's not quite there. Yeah, it was the blue black reanimator deck. We ended up making some changes. I, I tried like a, a slightly different version that didn't play the looters and played. What's the artifact? It was um, two mana artifact, two tap, discard, draw a card, discard a card, make a treasure. I forget the name of it, but it played that card, and then four copies of the the three mana looting artifact, and then you use those for beseech fodder. Yeah, collector's fault. Because I think one of the biggest issues with the Demir deck that doesn't play Beseech is you just don't have enough redundancy, right? Like, you have... I'm trying to think of the best way to describe this. You just... You only have four Reenact the Crimes, and you have no other... Like, you have no other big payoff, right? And sure, I guess Cruelty of Gix is kind of a payoff, but it, it's a lot worse when, you're, when your payoff is uh, five mana compared to four. And that's kind of what Beseech does. It gives you another four mana payoff, which is why I did like the Beseeches. Hidetsugu about to go brazy. <laughs> okay, the last card's Knight, which we can triumph. Hidetsugu consumes insanity. Yep. Alright, how, how bad is... What is their leftovers? How bad is it for us? I can beat that. That I can beat. I think I can beat that. Chat, get your 07s ready. Chat, 07s. What if I told you Jeskai Control and Standard was good? I would not believe you at all. I would definitely not believe you. Epicure. Preacher. Twelve. Drawing a guard? Deal. Deal. I accept. Good deck. 
And folks, that is why I do not want to play Boros Convoke this weekend. Because, <laughs> like, realistically, if you're if you're a mid-range opponent, three for onesie with or four for onesie with a wrath, your one wedding announcement's not gonna beat that. It's just not gonna happen. So just like stop coping and you know. Maybe I shouldn't have held up cut down there. Because if they play if they play a two two, I can't kill it. Okay, well. Rewarded. I'm going to hope they don't have Rage. No Rage. Easy. Some schmuck double knighted me, hit me hit four times, so he survived the Wrath. Yeah, I mean, like I said, there are circumstances, and, um, like, there are definitely spots where you can beat a Wrath, but it is a little bit difficult, specifically if you mulligan. Any goats? The hell do I kill here? <clears throat> Probably the 2-2 two -two Menace, right? Because I can... Preacher can block this. Can double spell next turn. That's nice. There's a good chance they have Frenzy. And that, that double spell next turn is going to be very crucial. Yeah, they have Frenzy. Oh. Oh, they still have Frenzy. Okay. I think seven go to eight. Yeah, double spell might not be enough. Well, it'd have been good last turn. I can't afford to play bad, can I? Because I have to trade. Play this, play this, trade, trade, go to five. Hope to draw... I don't even know. Play this, play this, trade, take five, go to three, next turn, loot. Like, what's my out here? <clears throat> I'm not sure I have an out. All right, I'm just going to play these two. I don't know if that's right. I guess Archfiend to block the Phoenix Chicks maybe could help. Yeah, Shelly's a good start because we have the Blood in play. We probably have to, we probably have to draw Shelly. Okay. Alrighty then. Sure. Noted. Noted. Anyways. Alright. Gix, get out. <clears throat> Archfiend, maybe get out. Triumph, get out. I like Duress. So this is 58. I think I'm just going to play for Duress. Duress is low-key really good against Mono Red. I could bring in Ob. Is Aw better than... No, Trespass was really good. What is Aw better than? I'm not sure that Aw is better than any of these cards. It does gain life, though. Right, yeah. It's like... So the, the play pattern with Aw is you go... You like, play it, sack your Harvester, minus plus, gain two life. HCA is not too bad, but I don't know what HCA is better than. Command is too important. Back God, Shelly, can't cut those... Maybe Preacher? Preacher is a little bit awkward, but the block, like, Preacher has a good body in this matchup, which is nice. I think Inti is bad. I could see Inti being bad, especially because we're boarding in Path Apparel. We could, like, trim one Inti for an Ob, maybe. It's, uh, Ob's one of those cards that I don't really want to draw two of, but the first copy is pretty good. Cut a Blood Tide? No, I'm never cutting a Blood Tide in this matchup. It's a removal spell. This hand is kind of ass, right? I don't think this one does it. This one seems like it does not do it. it doesn't do a lot. I mean, it's got lands and spells, but if Inti dies, this hand sucks. Better. 
Definitely better. Definitely badder. Mm -hmm. Wonder if they're brought against the mid range deck. Oh, with like a bunch of like Urbrask Forges and stuff, maybe. I'm generally pretty happy when they do that because their late game still doesn't really stand up to like Shieldred plus Gix's command. So the the bigger they make their deck, weirdly enough, I feels I feel like it kind of makes the matchup a little bit better for me. Like it's kind of hard for them to play long against Shieldred plus Gix's command, even with Forge. I'm gonna make them play off curve. Doing it this way is worse if they draw another one drop. Wow, they didn't kill it. That's interesting. Do I like this better than Discover Package? Yeah, the Discover cards are terrible. I wouldn't play those. I'm just going to pass. It'll be mana efficient. Because then if I draw a land, I can double spell with Cut Down plus Harvester. Yeah, I'm a really big, I'm really big, like, anti of the Cascade cards. Carnosaur, I think, is more defensible because it's at least a three mana removal spell. But a, Appraiser is just, you, you cannot defend putting that card in your deck. That card is so bad. It's like, if you're going to put Geological Appraiser in your deck before you put your fourth copy of Shieldred or your fourth copy of, you know, what name any kind of three drop that you want to put in there, it's you should just be playing more copies of those, those four drops. That's the way that I look at it. Mm-mm. Takanuma. Okay. So I'm probably going to cut down the Kumano, block both tokens. They may fire up the Mistress Foundry here. <coughs> it is banned in a format, that is true. Eee, that's cringe. Pay one for this, right? Two mana? Okay. Yeah, they're just going to exile their entire deck. Yeah, 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 yeah. <coughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I block. And maybe race them. I mean, that's the plan, right? Okay. I might just discard Path of Peril. What is my opinion on lying in a CEDH game? Uh, I have no opinions. I have no opinions on the matter. Rude. Oh, that's a good draw. That one is a good draw. I like that. Good card. Bad god, good. And your frenzy? <clears throat> I will not I will elect not to comment on lying in a CEDH game. I do not have any comments. The CEDH players are just they're they're just different. They're they're just built different. It's that's really all I can say. They really are just built different. Uh okay. I'm with you. Okay, I attack. Triggers. Oh, I stacked it wrong. Whoops. I meant to do the triggers the other way. Because you want to draw off Preacher before you discard DNT. Not that it matters too much here, but... Small thing. Small thing that could matter. Yeah. 
Game 3. Game 3. <clears throat> Folks, have I mentioned our Lord and Savior Twitch Prime yet? Did you know that you can subscribe to this channel for absolutely free, no cost to you, utilizing that Twitch Prime subscription that comes for free with your Amazon Prime subscription? Did you know that? Well, if you don't know, now you do know. This Inti is just every single opening hand. I kept seven. I think it's probably a bit too many three drops. All right, fuck you, Inti. Get out of here. Red mana? Good enough. All right, I would like to take your connecting the dots. Oh, oh it's like that. Okay, well, I'll take that fucking card. Get out of here. I think not. I think you will not have that for this game. What would I bat here? I kind of want to bat in case they drew a second forge. Because you all know about the duress bug. It's a good one to take, too. I like that. Okay, so how does this play out? I trespass her, they dots, attack, I trade? I trade, they get dots, then I double spell. Take one of their frenzies. Because if I play trespasser, there's no way they're playing frenzy. I could also just not trade. What if I bat? I bat, take dot... They attack, kill, bat, hit me for three, go to 12. Then I play, I guess, Trespasser next turn. No, I'm just going to play this. That's stupid. <clears throat> I just have to be mana efficient because I, re I really need to double spell next turn. I think I'm not going to trade for Codebreaker, though. And just hope the peel or removal spell. Or, like, let them get two cards under the dots and then Harvester the Codebreaker. Or I could just trade the Harvester for Code Breaker next turn. And that's, like, kind of fine. Wait, they're casting Frenzy? That can't be right. What? There's no way that's right. Why would they do that instead of playing Dots? I mean, I'll take it. So... Pushing damage. Yeah, but I think they'd rather get a card under the Dots... Maybe not. Like, what do I take with bat? I think I want to take... <clears throat> I kind of want to take the dots. Because then, if they choose to go attack with Codebreaker, kill... Well, they just attack with Codebreaker, kill Harvester, right? But then I just have the bat with the dots under it. And that's, like, kind of fine. Yeah, I'm going to take the dots. Take Frenzy. If I take Frenzy, if I take Frenzy, they play dots, attack, I block. Yeah, I, I guess, I guess maybe you're right. Maybe that's better. It's kind of close. Yeah, I just snap block the code breaker. Easy block. Just want to get material off the battlefields. And then we can go loot away this land. Try to find like a preacher. Okay. Go to 14. I'm not going to play this land, I think. I'm going to hold it up to loot. Worse since they top decked. Well, we don't know that they top decked, right? We knew, we knew it was in their hand. They drew a spell last turn, it looks like. Because they didn't play a land last turn. I we're giving them two extra cards, right? Off the dots. Like, they're going to attack with Foundry, then I just trade for the Harvester. So I did give them two extra cards this way. Versus, I mean, the other line was what? Take dots. They, like, if I take dots, they just frenzy the bat. Trade there. Yeah, but then their dots is worse. That's, that's like, that's kind of why I wanted to take that line instead. 
It's a weird line for sure. Yeah, forced attack. Forced attack, forced block. We need to find a threat. Like a Shelly or something. That's good. That might be one of the better draws in the deck. So let me start growing the bat. <laughs> I'm not going to thank you. Useless. Whatever, I'll cast it. I'll cast it. Maybe they'll pop dots in response. No, they didn't. All right, draw two. Please don't kill my NC. They've gone through, what, two frenzies? Yeah, two frenzies, because there's one under here. Okay. Why would you cast it? I mean, there's it doesn't matter, right? No, it was exiled off of the uh, the thing. The duress was exiled off of the NT. So it wasn't in my hand. It's a good card. <laughs> Not good at this current juncture. What if I just put a counter on NT? So they can't trade. I'm winning the race, right? not bad to spell <clears throat> yeah i'm getting race by a lot and they have no cards it's a hard card to discard yeah but like if i don't discard it i have to offer the trade of inti and also if i don't draw a land next turn i get super punished by not discarding it that turn right there's like there's a lot of things that can go wrong if i don't discard that and i think i'm already so far ahead i just don't need that you know just like any two-mana card there is perfect. Just anything that I can cast, right? Yeah. All right, chat. I think that's good for me. We got seven and a half hours today. That's, that's a pretty long stream. Very, very, very... Cool.